You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to check out another one of my vintage makers. This is from the 90s. It is the Baskin Robbins 31 Flavors Ice Cream Maker. Makes delicious ice cream for hours of fun, or at least until you eat it all. Enjoy the fun of making ice cream in less than five minutes. It was for ages five and up. Some assembly required. This is everything that's in it, including an exclusive flavor. Now, the problem with this is the mixes are bad, but I'll see. We'll take them out and we'll double check. Uh, so there, this side panel kind of shows you uh, the kids making ice cream, crumbling their favorite topping. And you can decorate with rainbow or chocolate sprinkles. Best if used by March 1999. This side has something called a layaway sticker. Well, the original price from Kmart was $29.39. And here is the layaway sticker in Hill Kanwana H. Where is that? And it looks like they had three of three items picking up on January 2nd, 1998. And they spent $303.93 on layaway. You're saying, what is layaway, you're asking? Well, layaway was uh, the store would actually hold the items for you until you came back at a specific date and purchased them. So it's kind of like holding them in the inventory for you. And then this side, kind of the same thing. These do look good. You don't get the cones, but we will see what else is in the box. This side panel here shows you everything that is in here. The Baskin Robbins Ice Cream Maker includes everything to make and decorate your own ice cream in minutes. Well, we've had ice cream makers like this before. Minutes, we will see. So that's a repeat side here. So there really isn't much more on the packaging. What do I need to do? I need to get it out of the box. Let's check out all the pieces and we will make ice cream. Okay, now the box looks absolutely terrible, doesn't it? Almost like it got wet at some point or at least the surface maybe where it was stored. But everything on the inside is intact and still sealed like this see that but the mixes which i did check out they're sealed here but the pack like this is bubble gum ice cream it's as hard as a rock but we'll check it out here is the original baskin robbins cups this little baskin robbins important how to clean let's see if this all just slides up oh there's the instructions this insert comes out that drops out on its own Let's get the spoon. It's some kind of weird spoon. It's like an ice cream scooper with a hook. That's gonna hook onto something. And then this is the piece that actually you press down for the ice cream to come out. Baskin Robbins. Ice cream maker. I don't know what I was gonna say there. Sometimes you just lose your train of thought. Okay, looks like this might be an issue with the way this box is. Let's push it off this way. Okay. Looks like the rest is all ready to go. Oh, there's a little piece of tape here. Okay, so. I'm not going to do any real setup just yet because I want to wash it. That's kind of, the first thing I always do is wash. Well, this looks like it's got to get cut. Surprisingly, there isn't much to set up. It's all, looks like it's all together. Okay, we've used these drum canisters before. You're kind of spinning it. You've got your salt and ice inside the chamber here. You're pouring your liquids in there and it's freezing over on the canister and you got this Neat little crusher thing. Okay, a screw on lid. Uh, yeah, I guess it's got big holes, so <laughs> it's not necessarily crushing, it's just pushing its way through. All right, that's neat. That's cool. Where's this go? This is gonna go probably this way. And this usually goes in here like this because you're using this to extract the ice cream. And it's kind of nice. They have a big chamber down there to hold it. This is probably some kind of Catch your cup, and where's that go? That goes right there, perfect. Now, it looks like the spoons are in here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get a tray out. I wanna open this on a tray. It looks like it's gonna make a mess. Let's check these out, the instructions, learn more about it, and then, of course, I will come back and get started making ice cream. Okay, 
There's one of my little spoons. I notice there's a spot for those, but let's get this first mix out. I will not be able to use this. It's like a unsealed paper, little hole in there, so yeah, it's not not a good thing. But it is just a mix. Oh, there's one. Silly vanilla. Yeah, this is totally messed up. Chocolate sprinkles. Well, those actually look okay. Let's just see. Oh no, that's not going to be good. Well, I'll tell you what, just for fun, let's open up a few of these. I'll have to provide all of my own stuff. This happens sometimes with makers. Now, I guess there might be a refill kit. I could have probably got that. But that could have been bad too. And a lot of sellers tell you, you know, of course, there's no warranty on this stuff. They say, mixes have expired. Okay, chocolate sprinkles. It's now chocolate powder. Ooh, look at how bad this one is. This is the nerds. Hard as a rock. Bubblegum bits. Let's look at the bubblegum bits. Ooh, those look okay. Nice bubblegum bits. Yeah. They have lived on for a long time. And here's my four spoons. The reason I wanted to do this on the tray was to keep everything on there and then I opened it off the tray. So, that is a mess. These are all bad. But let's just, for fun, see if we could peel this open and see what's going on here. Ew. The nerds. Now, who wants, who wants to try that? Ooh, look at that. So you have almost like a marbling effect in there. And the ice cream. Let's just let's just open it up. So you can see that it's turned into this lumpy mess. No worries. It's just powder for ice cream. I will make my own. There you go. And I will probably still use some of the little bits here. But otherwise, that's pretty much a done deal. Here's the real Baskin Robbins cups. We'll probably use one of those. And then here is the booklet. What else is in here? Ooh, a coupon. That'd be funny if I can try to use this coupon. Two dollars off any cake. Uh, valid through 90, uh, 1998. That won't work. Here's two of those. And then a little customer card. They still have those on a lot of products. Even though everything's done by the internet now. Karen instructions. All right, this is what I need. I'll read through this. They give you some different little things to make here. Ice cream floats, ice cream sundaes. And then here's all the pieces. And more toppings and ideas. All right. Time to forge ahead. Let's get these little spoons out. There was a spot on the top of this for the spoons. I'll go to this side in your ear. And that looks like a real tasting spoon. Does ever anybody remember what these tasting spoons were like back in the 90s? Is that official, like they said? Okay. Still a neat little setup there. And uh, that's what I'm here to do, is to show you a toy from 1998. All right, let me come back. Let me, uh, well, 97 actually. Let me wash everything and then uh, we'll get started. Okay, so there's the let's get started and mix instructions. Now, I cannot use those mixes. There is just no way. I don't, you know, I could probably grind them real fine, but more than likely they're probably not going to work. So I don't want to take the ingredients, the time. I want to just make tasty ice cream. Now, I will definitely try the sprinkles and the gum. I'm curious about that. So I'll get that all set up. So right now I am just drying everything. Getting it ready for production. And this is pretty much a standard container here. So it opens on one end. This end is just like a place to have the holder there so it sits in the unit. And then this was all together, so they show it in the instructions. You could take this all apart, 
Uh, but I did not because it was already together. So let's just leave it as is. Well, let's get this back. I mean, it's okay to have a little water on this. It's going to be in it anyway. Good. Good. Okay. Are you reading those instructions for me? Of course, next, before I even get to the machine, I have to make the ice cream. So I have those ingredients off to the side. I will come back once this is completely ready to go. Almost there. And I will get started. I decided to use, uh, to make chocolate ice cream. It is so hot where I'm at. It's been hotter uh, than normal at this time of year. So I'm excited about that. Love the heat. Only for a short time. Okay, here is the crusher. Well, I could do, uh, I was thinking Oreo cookies, but I don't know about the center. I have some chocolate chip biscotti type cookies. That's what I think I'm going to crush with the chocolate ice cream. All right, all back together. I just wanted you to be part of that whole step. So let's mix up some ice cream. All right, so I'm going to do this a little bit different. When it says, let's get started, they want you to do the ice and the salt first, then mix. I'm going to mix my ingredients, put that in the refrigerator to really chill it up, and then do the ice and the salt. So I've decided today is to do the junket ice cream mix. I've done these before. It's really simple. What you need to make one quart of ice cream is... One and a quarter cups milk and three quarter cups heavy whipping cream. That's it. Put it all together, mix it, done. I had to find my super duper mixer. I wanna see if I can get this in another video today. Right, but first, Enough goofing around, let's just get this going. There we go. It is ready. Okay, let's, let's check this tool out. I remember a long time ago, I said, you know, I'd like to do a tool of all old kitchen gadgets and kitchen and start doing it. I never did. You know, you have a lot of ideas and then you never do. But I like this one, and I've used this before. Because you can do it. It's like just a regular mixture, but your own human power. like chocolate milk. That's what it smells like. I just want to drink it. That's it. As simple as that. Okay, so that now is going in the re one drop. That is going in the refrigerator and then I'm going to come back probably get set up with this, get that all filled up and get the ice and the salt. Okay, a little more preparation. I have actually put the mix in the freezer just to really give it a cool blast. Let me, I decided not to use those sprinkles because for some reason today I want to enjoy the ice cream. So I'm going to use fresh sprinkles. Now you could put some on one side, some on the other. So that's why they give you that option with the chocolate sprinkles because the lid has this little turny thing on the top. It's two pieces I had to look at. It's like one goes to this side and then one flips over and goes to that side. And then I am going to try the gum though. I'm so curious about trying gum from 1990 something. I got my cookies. I decided to get, it's like a chocolate chip stick cookie. I only said put a few in at a time. So there we go. Ooh, that's too much. So you can only go too high. We'll see how this crushes this. It's a really soft cookie, so I'm assuming that's going to work fine. And then I have the uh, some Oreo cookies, just to give that a test. Was any of that on camera? I don't know. 
All right, so now we need to get this ready. Three quarters cup of table salt, quarter cup of warm water. So let's get that in there. All right, all off to the side, all pre-measured and ready. So let's see, ice. That is numero one, and you gotta leave room for all of that. Now remember, I've done these before where you don't actually add water, and I said, there's somewhere you add water, and there's somewhere you don't. Here's what I'm gonna do, because this could be slightly deceiving. It's a lot, and it's not table salt. I use ice cream salt. That was a good stop, put stopping point, you see that? Glad I stopped. Oh, there we go. I don't think I can squeeze, but a few more. Okay, let's just see if that works. This kind of pushes down slightly. Okay, that worked out great. All right, that's set. This is starting to get a frost on it already. So let me run, grab my ice cream, we'll make it, and we'll eat it, right? Okay, get this back in. You see this gear matches up with that gear, and that allows you to do the spin. This goes in. Now you really want this to be leaning forward, not touching the drum. And that's actually much better than the last one I did. Now right, let's get the ice cream in better pouring vessel. That's from just sitting in the freezer. Ooh, look at the powder on the bottom. Mix that up a little better. I guess my mixer didn't do the job. Hmm. Let's give this another, in all fairness, another quick mix. Now that it is set, Try that again. Much better. All right, let's set that off to the side. So they want you to pour it in there and turn the crank. Let's just double check their directions. Three to five minutes. Okay, let's get the clock. Start the clock. Timer, five minutes, start. Okay, poor mixing of the ice cream maker is shown. Slowly turn the crank in a clockwise direction. Well, I gotta get a better angle here. How much is the question? We want it to touch the drum, Ooh, which it is doing. I'm gonna put just a little bit more. I can kind of see in there. Okay, I don't know if there was necessarily a fill line either. They say keep the scraper in the non-scraping position. But we knew that because we've tested so many of these types of makers. light it's almost like glistening like water on a stream with the sun so it's been two minutes and it says, after three to five minutes, push the top of the scraper towards the surface of the drum in the scraping position. While holding the scraper steadily, turn the crank slightly until some is ice cream is scraped off. Use your taster spoon to test it if it's frozen enough. 
If it's still not frozen, pull the scraper back into the non-scraping position and turn the crank for a few more minutes. Scrape a small amount to test again. If it is frozen, turn the drum one full rotation and scrape the ice cream into the scraper. Repeat until all the mixture is frozen and has been scraped off. Yeah, so it looks like they show actually hard, round ice cream balls, but that's never happened with one of these. Oh, sorry, ice cream scoops. Use the scoop to scoop the ice cream into your cup. Oh, that's where they get you. That scoop is tiny. Use a sprinkle shaker, pour sprinkles into the shaker and screw it on tightly, sprinkle on top. To use the cookie crumble, remove lid, insert a few cookies at a time, close lid and turn crank. Ooh, I can't wait to do that. Okay, so that's been about four minutes. This is a good time to test. Let us test this scraping ability. Okay, now I should be able to push this in and it should just scrape off. I don't think it's done yet, so let's just pull that back. Keep going. Oh, that'll probably be my thumbnail. That just looks so cool. Now I have found from experience that after you do this, put it in a bowl, throw it in the freezer for a little bit, that's the perfect ice cream. What's coming out now will be maybe a little harder than a soft serve maybe. All right, the alarm's gonna go off in 10 seconds. So don't be shocked, I will just let it do its thing. Three, two, one, here we go. Okay, we stopped that. Let's double check. Oh, it's really on there now. The outer layer is not frozen, but I could tell. See that? It's struggling to scrape. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, I'm going to use one of their cups. Do you think I can get anything that resembles a scoop? Well, maybe. Come on down. You know what, I'm gonna find my, ooh, this one. That's a nice flat tool. Let's get to, ooh, no, 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 don't do that. I want this to go into here. There we go. I have a feeling I'm gonna make a mess. It tilted, but at least I have a nice scoop. I'm gonna take some of that too. Mmm, that looks so good. It's hard not to take a bite right now. But we have to try the crusher. We're here to try the crusher. Okay, crush. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's just smushing like this. Maybe these cookies are too soft. I was wondering. I'll tell you what. They look great, the crumbs themselves here. 
but they're not coming out of the hole because just the way it's designed maybe that's nice all right let's just try a couple broken up oreo cookies the holes are so big you would think it would have just pushed out yeah see so it can't be necessarily a soft cookie all right we got something in there and actually when i crumbled it with my fingers worked better but let's just see what we have would you eat it it's all fresh stuff right all right so i would say so far it's been working good i don't know if i'm gonna make more i think we get the idea let me uh get some of these little doodads on there mm, okay here we go is it ice cream yes is it scoop and hold its shape yes is it good yes mm. needs a few more of these bigger crumbs I would say overall very successful little machine does what it's supposed to do we usually have good luck with this kind of machine Mm. we have to put a bubblegum topping on them I gotta eat one thing from them original here we go it's actually quite tasty it's completely dissolved it's not making gum in any way I did not swallow it. It started to turn into gum, but I think you need more than one. I don't mind soft. It's almost like a milkshake. Okay, there you go. The Baskin Robbins ice cream maker. Now, for some reason, I'm not stopping. I just felt like eating something sweet. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks everybody who's coming back after being being away for such a long time. I try to answer as many of those comments as possible. Thank you all very much for continuing to watch my videos. And thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Let me know what you think about my ice cream. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.